Oh, again, I'm doing some indifference of angle formulas. Uh, this time I'm using the tangent formulas. Most of the time students don't remember this, and I don't really expect them to. If I, use, if I have students do this one, I just give them a formula sheet for this. Cosine and sine, it depends. Although if you do want to memorize it, it's really not that bad. It's tangent of A plus tangent of B. That's how I remember it. This one's tangent of A minus tangent of B. And then this is just one subtracted by, you know, that was an addition, so that's a subtraction, tangent A, tangent B. One plus, because that was a subtraction, that's an addition, and that's still tangent A, tangent B. Uh, it's a little difficult for students to buy into the fact that that's actually mem uh, that's something you can memorize, but you can, I mean, if you put the effort forth. But, you know, if I had to give it, I'd, I'd probably just give the formulas and say, here, go ahead and do this. And they say, well, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, I'm glad you asked. I want you to do this. The tangent of 75 degrees. You can also use this in identities as well. It's actually pretty cool to use in identities. You actually turn, you know, like a, I don't know, a tangent of 3 theta into tangent of 2 theta plus theta. And then every A that you see you put in as a 2 theta and every B that you see is a theta. And you can actually use that in identities. Really cool. Uh, I already showed that kind of an example with the cosines. I'm not going to sit there and show it with the tangents. Instead, I'm just going to do a concrete example where I have the tangent of 75 degrees. And basically, the tangent of 75 degrees, oh, that's a bad marker, is the tangent of 45 degrees plus 30. It's always a safe bet to use those ones, uh, 30, 45, 60, 0, and 90. Well, not so much. Uh, a couple of those values actually with the tangent, but 45 and 30 are safe because most students at this point memorize what the cosine and the sine are of 45, 30, you know, tangent of that too. And if you don't, you really should practice that. And that's not, you know, trying to browbeat anybody, but it's saying that you should know your all your first quadrant special angles for this, you know, 30s, 45, 60s. If you don't, practice them. So anyways, I've got the tangent of 45 plus the tangent of 30, and I can rewrite that as, well, that's a sum, so I'm going to use this one. Tangent of 45 plus tangent of 30, all divided by 1 subtracted by tangent of 45, tangent of 30. Okay. Uh, tangent of 45 I memorize easily, that's just 1. So I'm going to move this over here. We're going to go ahead and try it. The tangent of 45 is 1, plus the tangent of 30, um, the sine, which is 1 half, which is root 3 over 2, which root 3 over 3. And it's all over 1 subtracted by the tangent of 45, which is 1, that one's easy, times the tangent of 30, which is root 3 over 3. So i got to simplify this. Uh, I don't know what to do first. Well, you know, maybe I should give these the same denominator. So I'm looking, I'm like, well, the common denominator is going to be 3. So that's going to be 3 plus root 3 over 3 in the numerator. And then this is going to be, you know, 1 subtracted by root 3 over 3, which is the same thing as... 3 over 3 minus root 3. If I take that even a step further, I have 3 plus root 3 over 3 divided by uh, 3 subtracted by root 3 over 3. Well, I can't have all those denominators, so I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal in the denominator. But what I do in the denominator, I better do in the numerator. This is fascinating stuff. Threes cancel. Whew, at least a little bit of fortune there. Three plus root three over three subtracted root three. Almost there. Can't have a square root in the denominator, so I've got to rationalize it, and I rationalize it by multiplying by the conjugate. I can employ room over here. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times root 3 is 3 root 3. And then another 3 root 3, so that's 6 root 3. 
Square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. And it's all over 9. That's 3 square root 3 minus 3 square root 3, which cancels. And then negative square root 3 times positive square root 3 is negative 3. Which simplifies to uh, 12 plus 6 square root 3 over 6. And we're done, almost. You can actually factor out a 6 from the numerator. Woo! This is one of those terrible lessons. And you've got 2 plus root 3 over 6. So my answer is 2 plus root 3. A lot of work for a very little game. But actually, you still do know what the exact value of the tangent of 75 degrees is. It's 2 plus root 3. You can go ahead and plug in the tangent of 75 into your calculator, see what you get as a decimal. Put in 2 plus root 3 into your calculator, see what you get as a decimal, you get the exact same value. I don't think that the gain was worth anything here. This is a very long problem. But it, you know, something that teaches you character. So hopefully you thought it taught you character. Other than that, I hope that was helpful. Have a good day for now. Goodbye.